Good morning. Well, it's almost noon on a Saturday, and today I planned to go for my joy ride. I tried my seat out yesterday going to work, so it was like 15 minute ride, and it's just really hard to judge, right? Because it's such a short ride. But one thing I did notice was that when I'm standing, like if I'm stopped, the side of the seat seems like it sticks out a little bit more so that it presses into my thighs. So that is definitely slightly uncomfortable, but I kind of want to see over time if that's something I've become used to or if it's something I start to absorb into my thighs so it doesn't even hurt. It's not really a pain right now, it's just, you know, it kind of feels like it slightly gets in the way, but honestly what I care about more is how it feels while riding not standing. I, I'm not really sure what to think about what I end up feeling because I'm kind of concerned about the fact that if I start feeling pain in my crash area again or a soreness then I'm going to be unhappy about that I guess and I think the best the best mentality for this is not to feel like I want to accept it just because getting it changed or altered would be a big hassle and that's very tempting, right? Because if I have to alter it, I would have to send it back, which takes more time and money, or I would have to ride up there. Oh, sorry, I almost dropped this. <laughs> or I would have to ride up there for the best results because doing it in person and having them see my posture and everything would be best. It would just mean that it would be a whole day for me. And then uh, it's just a lot to do all in one day. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. I mean, I don't know if it's too optimistic to believe that there can be absolutely zero soreness, but I am going to go up to Santa Isabel, maybe further or maybe just wrap around a bit. The thing about riding is that the tank is so much smaller than a car, so I have to really consider like where I want to stop and get gas because if I go to Julian and that, that area, there aren't a lot of gas stations around that area. There's like one gas station in all of Julian, which is crazy. But that area would be fun to go to just because it's like far out, it's mountain areas, and it's pretty. I haven't had a joy ride in a very long time, so let's see if this works out better. Of course, the main thing I'm still going to be concerned about is my hands. I haven't changed my gloves, so I'm going to try my best today to like, I don't want to tense up my hand too much, don't want to use too much strain or grip or anything, just try to relax it and make sure that my posture is good. Okay, let's head out. Hi, it's really hot out here, but I am about an hour away from home. I got some more pie. Peach apple crumb again, and it's heated. Ooh, it's gonna taste so good. So far, the seat feels like it's working pretty well in the sense that I'm not in unbearable pain. Um, by an hour though, there is some form of soreness, but it's not annoying to the point of being really bothersome. So I guess I'll see how it feels on the way back. I mean, it's more like I feel something, but it's not um, enough to make me focus on it whatsoever. But right now I still have to address my gloves because my hands are fucked. Like. My hands feel awful, so that's my next purchase, unfortunately. But now I'm gonna enjoy my pie. And I actually brought my pepper spray, so I'm gonna just maybe spray it on the ground here and see what it's like. Okay, I brought my pepper spray. Let's see what it's like. Oh God. Interesting. Hmm. Scary. Oh my goodness. It will wreck me if I fuck up. Hmm. Oh my god, I got some on my helmet. I'm so stupid. Oh fuck. I'm at the end of the parking lot at Julian High School. And I'm kind of just standing here and enjoying solitude, the views, the land. So while I was riding, I was thinking about just everything around me. Here, let me hold this up. So on either side, I saw signs for, you know, stuff on sale, plots of land. They were obviously really big plots of land, but I was 
was just kind of thinking, you know, like, the ground here isn't actually that bad. I think what I care the most about is just, I don't want just dirt. Um, I feel like some of the houses that I saw in Ramona or Santa Isabel was just a lot of dirt and nothing on top of it. No grass, no plants, no anything. So if you look at this kind of land, this is, I would say, pretty manageable because it seems like it can grow things reasonably well. It would just require some maintenance for up. It's late. It's like 12.30 right now. I just finished my second movie of the day, House of Tomorrow, which I mainly chose to watch because of Asa Butterfield. I really like him. I just think he's awesome because he was basically a child actor and then he did like big name movies. He did Hugo for Scorsese. He just acts. He indulges in his interests. He loves gaming actually. And I just like how he's super famous. He makes all this money, but he just manages to be super down low. You don't ever hear about him in the news and stuff. Basically lives life like a normal person and he just seems so humble and I love that. So I watched this movie for him, but I just really wanted to <laughs> follow up on the whole movies making me optimistic thing because I really do think it's so weird how it has that effect on me. I know myself really well, so I know how cynical I am when it comes to people, but just like finishing this movie, which I wouldn't say it was that good, but it was definitely reasonably enjoyable. And I'm just like not gonna bother with IMDb ratings anymore because I feel like if I go by that, it would really make me miss out on a lot of movies that I could possibly enjoy. So for example, this movie was a 6.1. It only had like less than a thousand votes though. So that's another thing that I wouldn't want to go off of, but it was definitely not that awful by any means. Another movie that I loved recently, Children Act, was a 6.6 .6 on IMDb. I would give that over a seven guaranteed, maybe even more because of Emma Thompson's performance. For this movie, I guess, after I finished watching it, I was just thinking about like, hey, you know, sometimes when you see relationships or friendships or connections on screen, it makes me feel like, you know, it would be nice to connect with people again. Yeah, basically nowadays I don't really meet anybody and I am generally fine with that because it takes a lot of extra effort to go out and meet someone and then make a connection. And I just don't have the energy for that. I'm not optimistic about people in that way. So I just don't even bother doing it. And generally I'm fine with that. But then I think usually when I watch movies and then I see like what a nice friendship might look like through a film, which actually it can definitely be very misleading because a movie shows you things for a reason. It probably aims to give you this idea about the characters so there's a lot about the characters you don't know so you see what you see and then you create your opinion about each character and that's just not entirely realistic because there's probably other aspects of them that would matter yeah i guess maybe it is kind of crazy i haven't met anybody new in quite a long time i actually think the last person that i met was the guy off dota which didn't really hang around long. I only met him in person twice and then I never saw him again, mainly because I didn't want to. Other than that, I guess the only person that I talk to regularly in person is my coworker, because I have to see him at work. And uh, I mentioned in the past that I do get along with him really well, so that's fine. I guess these moments of the movie affecting my desires is just like super brief because right after watching a movie it does make me feel a certain way like oh it's nice to make connections with people i kind of miss that i kind of hope i meet someone soon but i feel like those desires are very short-lived because after a period of time like i don't know half an hour i just resume living my life the way i usually do and I mean, everything just ends up being fine. Yeah, it would be nice to meet a new good friend in person or even like meet someone that would be romantic interest or anything, but 
stuff like that you just have to depend on chance for it to happen I never really liked the idea of forcing it like going to a meetup I think that's what adults often tend to do they go to a meetup to try to make friends and meet with people of similar interests but I did kind of realize that like I really am just so focused on whatever the heck I want to do I tend to make plans with myself like even as something as simple as work I plan out whether I want to go out to eat lunch that day or whether I'm going to come home to Riley. So I have that plan already decided, usually a day in advance or that morning. And then if it suddenly changes, it does kind of throw me off a little bit. Like if I've planned on coming home to Riley and then my coworker is like, oh, you want to go out for lunch? I would feel like <laughs> very... Mm, a lot of thought put into it for that brief period but then like nowadays I'm starting to feel a little bit more lax about my lunch I'm usually very rigid about my time at work but I'm trying to relax on that a little bit because other people are definitely not as rigid about it and even if I take like an hour lunch or an hour and a half I, I think I should try not to worry so much about it because I feel like I stay a pretty decent time at work so even if I go out for lunch and then I come back to Riley the same day, I just want to make sure I do that because I like coming home and letting her out. That makes me happy. And even if I see her for a brief period of time, like five minutes, just to let her out and then go back to work, it makes me happy. So I guess it's completely up to uh, the fates to decide whether I will meet anyone soon. But moments like this where I'm thinking so hard about it, aren't that often so movies really affect me quite a bit i'm pretty tired and on the weekends i really look forward to sleeping because i love to sleep in so much and weekdays even though i usually get like seven hours of sleep the fact that you're waking up to an alarm just ruins it so much so i am really gonna look forward to sleeping and I look forward to tomorrow, a whole day to do nothing or something. I don't know. I'll see what I feel like.